Hey everybody, welcome to my Shabby Craft Studio. Today I have something to share with you and this is take like, um, I don't know, six of this video. I tried five times yesterday and kept messing up and you couldn't see all the papers that I was trying to show you and it just got to be a real mess. So um, I'm back. <laughs> I'm going to try again. Hopefully this one works. So um, I wanted to share with you that I did some collage papers and I scanned them and I decided to um, put them in my Etsy shop. They make great backgrounds for a lot of things. Um, I hope you like them. And, you know, if you do, you can head on over to my Etsy shop, which will be down below in the description box. So this is collage background papers set number one. Um, so I, I am in frame. I'm not zooming in anymore because yesterday I zoomed in and half the papers were missing in the shots. So I ended up having to delete five videos. So there's that one that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay. And that is the set number one. Uh -oh. And I printed these on bright white paper. I have an Epson NV Photo 7155. And on the quality for how to print, I put it on normal and I set it on other photo inkjet paper. And this is how they came out. Now, my disclaimer is that everybody's computer shows colors differently and everybody's printer will print everything out differently. So say you were to purchase these and you think they're too dark, they are in a JPEG format. You can go into your photo editor and you can change the exposure and lighten them up a little. If you want them darker, you could darken them. So I'm just gonna put that out there. <laughs> so this is, this is collage background papers set number two. And all of these images are either items that are mine, like this lace is from um, some fabric that I got, or placemats that I got from a friend whose mother got them, I think South America or something like that, I can't remember. Um, and some of these are papers that are from my digitals, some of these are um, like, this is just a piece of um, index card. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, doily, doily. Um, and the rest are all public domain images, either from Graphics Fairy or off the web. Um, so all of this stuff is just stuff that I put together. Um, in a collage, I printed a bunch of stuff out, used a bunch of my own items, and they are in collage format. So I printed these on, like I said, on bright white paper. Um, the other thing I did, I'm probably gonna end up using some of these, so I don't know why I'm putting them back, but anyway. I did also print on the back of a few of them because I want to use them in a project. So I put them back through my printer. This is um, tea dyed paper that I have. I don't believe I have this on my Etsy shop. Um, I have to play with the color of this because this came out really yellow and that's not what the original looks like. But now that my husband has fixed my scanner and things seem to scan better and print out better, um, I can play with some more stuff. So I did also, let me, I did also do some on 
um, tracing paper. This tracing paper is very, very thin and it didn't feed correctly. So all three sheets that I did came out with this white line on the edge, but I did cut my tracing paper down to eight and a half by 11 because it comes in nine by 12. I do have a heavier tracing paper, but I haven't printed any of these out on it yet. It usually doesn't catch in my printer so much, and I usually get a full image on the tracing paper. So I wanted to show you that. And I also printed on, that is bright white. That is bright white. Um, this is ivory colored cardstock. And this is how it printed out on the ivory colored cardstock. Let me see if I can find, if I can find this page on the bright white paper, I'll show you the difference. All right, here it is. Okay, so this is bright white paper. This is ivory cardstock. And there's what it looks like. So you can see there's some, it's, it's more creamy. Um, it's yellower there. But I really like the way it came out on the cardstock. And if I use ivory colored cardstock, I just make my journal cards and stuff out of it. it works for me. And then um, this is also ivory colored cardstock. This is white cardstock. So I don't think. <clears throat> I didn't print. I did not print two of the same. So, but you can see, again, this is the ivory, this is the white cardstock, but there's not that much difference in it, honestly, to me. Again, this one's a little yellower, but, you know, I'm okay with that. Um, like I said, you can always go into your program, your photo editing program, and lighten it up some. This is white cardstock. And the white cardstock I generally use for like pockets or belly bands or tuck spots. And the cream cardstock I use for journaling cards. Um, again, ivory colored cardstock and white cardstock. So I also did a kit with some stitches in it. For those people that don't sew or that, um, just like to have a stitched look on something and don't want to stick it in the machine. I use these all the time and I did these probably about a year ago. Um, this one and this one and I never did put them in my Etsy shop. So there they are. Um, this one you cannot tear the edge because I got it so close to the edge here and here but the rest of them you can tear I did them on tea stained paper because I thought that way it would blend in better with most of what all of us do. Um, if you have a white background, then you got to go through and ink everything. And I didn't think that was worth it. Um, so I really like using these, but then the other day I did two more and I have a decorative stitch here a couple here these are straight stitches but my machine stitch is really weird so it doesn't look straight <laughs> it, it has kind of a, a zigzaggy almost look and then I did different sizes of the zigzag stitch on this one and then this one um, I did some circles which are really hard to do especially with a zigzag stitch and I did these a little further away from the edges so you can tear around them. And I really, I really enjoy using them myself. So I thought I'd put them out there and share them and see if you'd like them. So that's all of that. Um, I have, let me, let me gather my card stock because I'm going to use that for some stuff. So I, Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, yesterday was a rough day for Martha. Um, between allergies and humidity and headaches and sneezing and sounding hoarse, it's not always easy to do videos for me. So the other day, 
um, several days ago, I watched Gail do this um, pocket flip that I think, I don't know if she saw it the same place I did. I think I saw it on Facebook and then followed that link. And anyway, so Gail did it. She linked to Liz the Paper Project, who linked to Angela Kerr, who um, got um, a similar pocket from Judy Sanderson in the mail for a, um, you know, mail it in kind of, I don't know if it was a birthday thing or what. I missed it. But anyway, so I, I went ahead and I used, um, I did not use my own paper. <laughs> I used some antique papery paper and I glued two sheets together. So this is not as thick as um, cardstock, but when I glued the two sheets together, because I used 24 or 28 pound paper, and I don't know which I printed this on, I think it was 24, um, it's quite sturdy. So I really like the way it turned out. Um, and then I just made a few little, you know, I cut out some, glued some paper onto, um, these are little index cards. They come that size. So, you know, I just glued some of the extra paper onto these index cards. I put a little eyelet in it. I did not put pockets on the front, I mean, on the inside here. Um, I just put a, a circle butterfly there. I used some lace and glued it down. And I did another card on um, an index card, a journaling card there. And then there is a little card in the back and put a little trim on the front pockets. So, let's go in here. Actually, fold that down first. And then, you know, some people are putting um, just coffee or tea stained paper here. But that was so pretty, I didn't want to cover it up. So, <laughs> oops. So you could, you could put the tea stained or coffee stained paper there and then use that as a journaling spot. But I thought even if somebody journaled here, you know, there's, there's a card here. You could put more cards in there if you wanted to journal in it. But I just made it because I wanted to make it because I thought it was so pretty. So yesterday during my two videos, I was, I made some more. <laughs> so I have... And because I did three in each video, I now have six. <laughs> so this one, um, I, again, glued two papers together. Oops. Two of my own papers together. And the pocket is on the outside. So it does give you the pockets here. And then this is a flip up, which I did not put, um, you know, any writing paper in. I mean, literally, you could write over that if you wanted to, except over the bird. Then it probably wouldn't show. And and here's an example of, I used um, some of the paper that did not print out correctly when I was messing around with it after the scan. So these are the papers, and I just put them on. Um, I printed them out on paper, so I printed it, I mean, I glued it to the cream-colored cardstock. And then I haven't put a pocket or anything inside here yet. Um, I'm, these are not done, but I did make some of Gail's um, style over the page paper clip thingies. And I made them like in a miniature and I thought I would put this here. Oh Lord, now it doesn't want to stick. Um, well, it worked yesterday. <laughs> I'll try and remember to link that video below. But I thought that was kind of cute to keep it shut right there. And you can put, you know, I could, I'm, I'll could, i probably put something in there, string or ribbon or something. But that keeps it shut. And then you can paper, or you could use this like this and paper clip it to a page. Or use a separate paper clip to clip it to a page. So I thought that was kind of cool. All right, so there's that one. And then there's this one, and this also has a paper clip there. And um, again, the pockets are on the outside here. 
and then the pocket is actually what I did was I made a pocket on the outside here I added a pocket and this one the pocket is on the inside so I folded it in and then just put this little um, pad of paper inside and then put a little card again from my collage sheet on that side and on that side for writing on and this side was so pretty because you all know I love butterflies, right? So um, I left the butterflies, didn't want to cover those up. And so I thought, you know, I'll just, I'll just close it and put this in there. And of course I'm struggling because, you know, I'm on camera. <laughs> there. So that keeps that closed again. And then made another one because I made three per video and then deleted all the videos. So again, the pockets are on the inside here. Haven't had time to, um, but I added pockets on the outside. Okay, so this one, you can literally glue it down. And this one, you could do the same. You can glue it down on three sides, use it as a pocket in the top. You could glue it on the top, the side and the bottom, put it on your page and put a journaling card in on the side there like that or on the top. So either way, um, so there's this one. This is made out of one piece of paper. And what I did was I printed on the front and back, but because the paper is 24 pound, 28 would be even better. But because the paper is 24 pound, it's pretty sturdy, but this would be a good weight for gluing down on the page and it's not as bulky. I mean, it'll still be a little bulky when you get the cards in the, in the pockets and stuff. But, um, you know. Then, this is another one I did. This one, the pockets are not in the inside. So, I also printed on the back of this again. And this one would be one that you would clip in if you wanted to use the access the pocket in the back. And then it's got the two pockets in the front. Let me let me get something here. Here, I'll use this. So it's got the two pockets on the front, right? And you open it up. But again, this is made out of my just nothing extra, just made out of the um, collage papers from the set. And I think it's just a, such a quick, easy project. I'm not sad that I have six of them. <laughs> And I'll be making more today. So this one, I put the lace all the way across. I did glue it down where it folds right here. And I glued it down on the edges and the bottom. So there's a little pocket here and a little pocket here and a little pocket here. And then the because I folded the paper up this way, I have the pockets on the front here. Pocket, pocket and then a pocket in the back. However, even with the pocket in the back, if you wanted to glue it down, I would glue this pocket shut. If you wanted to glue this to your page and not get things caught on this, I would glue that edge shut. Or even back it with another piece of paper. Could do that. And then this one, um, this one I think, let me, let me check. Oh, that's a single piece of paper too. And this one has all kinds of little good cards in it that I made up. And then a little card here and little cards here. And then this one can be glued down as well because I didn't put the pocket on the back. That's why I like folding the pocket to the inside and then adding little pockets here if you want to. Now this is the tracing paper that I see that I printed off, which is why part of that sheet is missing. So I thought that was a fun project to do with this. Um, and again, um, this paper is from my summer song kit, digital kit. That's what this paper is. And I just printed on the front and back. So there you go with that. Easy peasy stuff. Helps if you're putting it on the right way.
<laughs> the part sticking out at the top is the top, so it's not the part with the paper clip on it. Yeah, so that was fun. So I thought that maybe today I would take the collage sheet since I made six of those pockets yesterday. Um, maybe we'd take some of the collage sheets and I'd show you how I, you're welcome to do it whatever way works for you, but how I would, um, if you print them on like cream colored cardstock or white, how you can make journaling cards um, or tuck spots or pockets. Oh, I have one more thing to share with you. I'm very excited. Look what I got. I got a joy tear ruler. <laughs> they finally made them available on Amazon to ship to the U.S. And it took a month to get it. But that's okay. I I'm good with that. It's a joy. Can you see that? Joy tearing ruler. And it did, uh, I mean, the ruler was inexpensive. The shipping was twice as expensive as the ruler. I didn't care. Of course, my husband asked me today, he's like, well, did it have free shipping? I'm like, um, no. <laughs> no, sorry, it did not. But not everything I buy is going to have free shipping. So it's a little, it's a little bent. Uh, it's a little warped, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this for a month. It wasn't supposed to get here until next week. And it got here today. I need a drink. Yes. Unsweet tea. It's not sweetened at all. Okay. So, um, although we're not going to use that ruler right at the moment. So I'm going to put it up here where I keep my other rulers in my little turnabout. So, um... I have one other thing to share with you. Went to Walmart a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago now, and they had blank desk calendars and they were selling them for a dollar. So you get 12 sheets. Let me let me get let me get a full one. So you get 12 sheets of a full, full, let's see. Oh, that's as far out as you can go and it doesn't all fit in the screen. So full desk calendar, blank, right? So I took the pages of one. This is just one of them. Took the pages out on the deck and sprayed them all with tea. And so these are great. You can use them a buck. I paid a buck for 12 giant sheets of paper. You can't beat that with a stick. I took them out on the deck, sprayed them, and you can use them to lay on your desk if you're inking or you're spraying or you're gluing, and then you can reuse them in your journals. So why not? You know, you can use them in clusters. You can use them in all sorts of things. So I... I my husband went back to Walmart today. I should have told him to, if there were any left to pick them up. I thought it was a great deal. 12 really large sheets of paper. Plus, you get the card cardboard for the back. And you can use the cardboard for spines for books or, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's really good thick cardboard. Flat, flat cardboard. So, um, these are 8.5 by 11. And often I will cut them in half this way and use them for pockets. Is this the white one? This is the cream one. So this is um, the, this is the lighter. I have two weights of um, ivory colored cardstock and I think I printed this out on the lighter weight. 65 pound and 110 pound. 110 pound is great for journaling cards. Um, this will work too though. So um, it's 11 by eight and a half. Um, so four and a quarter would be half, right? We all know Martha does not like math, okay? 
And so this is going to make, I did not mean to do it that way, but okay. <laughs> so 11, so it'd be about three something, three and a nudge to make three journaling cards this size, three and a nudge. Okay, so they're different sizes, but that's okay, right? You never know. You might want something a little wider, a little fatter. And to be honest, these can go in any direction you want them to, even though the print is going up and down. Um, so, again, I'm going to do three and some, somewhere in the middle. There we go. Okay. So now I have six journaling cards. Um, if I did them longer, I would have like tuck spots and stuff. So most of my journals I take and just fold eight and a half by 11 pages in half, right? And, and do my journal that way. So if I wanted to have, um, say I wanted... Get up there. I wanted some belly bands or tuck spots. I usually make those about two inches. Okay, you can make them three if you want. So there's one. And there's two. And then I would take this one. What do I have left? It's about seven ish inches. So I would cut this. If I wanted a pocket that was, I'm sorry, because I'm on camera, you know, I can't think. So say I wanted a pocket that was four and a half wide. Okay. So I'm going to do four and a half. Okay. So this could be another belly band or tuck spot and then I'm going to make two pockets out of this so that is um, eight and a half so four and a quarter okay great little pockets just put a what I do with my punch so I like the oval punch this is a stampin up punch I love the the it's not like a deep circle so, I don't know if Stampin' Up! carries this punch anymore. Um, I think I got it on clearance from Stampin' Up! I check them every once in a while, probably not often enough. And there's my two pockets and belly bands or tuck spots for the edge of a page. So, there's five components right there out of that. And then... Let's see. Hopefully I have one more. Yeah, I do. Here's another sheet. So I like tall journaling cards. So I would make like a three inch journaling card. And a three inch journaling card. And then you can make something out of this, whatever you wanted. So I now, out of two, three sheets of paper, I have all these components to put in my journals. And you can put focal points on these. You can put clusters on them. You can do whatever you want. And, and you didn't have to take all the time to collage the backgrounds. And they're grungy enough, but they have some lace in them. They have some stitching in them. See, this is where I used some of the stitching in here and here there's lace so see i think it's fun and you could take these and you could let's see let me show you <laughs> let, let me show you instead of talking to you about it um where's my sheet of paper Here somewhere. Here they are. Okay, so hopefully I didn't shake you just then. Okay. 
I'll take this. And you could print these out on tracing paper, and then they'd be more transparent, which is even more fun. But I just take it and I rip it like this, really close to the stitching. And you could take a ruler and do this too. But I like the kind of rougher edge. Let's try the new ruler. Let's try the new ruler and see what we get. Of course, I have not practiced with it. As you saw, I just took it out of the packaging. People like Rachel make it look so easy. <laughs> I also used heavier paper to print these on. So if you use just 20 pound copy paper, it's really easy to tear. That's fun. Fun, fun, fun. I'm happy. Okay, so we're gonna take, maybe, we're gonna take this card and I'm gonna put this right here along this edge. Okay, glue. I might have to put my turntable in a different position because um, I'm not crazy about reaching across where the camera sits now. I didn't have to, I didn't used to have to do that. I need to refill my glue bottle again. I love this little glue bottle because it's not hard to, um, it's not hard for me to squeeze. Eventually I'm probably going to have to replace it. But, um, oops, come back. Stay in the frame, Martha. But, um, it, I have to, I have to fill it a lot. <laughs> Refill it. All right. Now, doesn't that add just a touch of dimension to it? Kind of fun. I just have fun with this stuff. I just love doing it. So there's that. Snip. Snip. Okay. All righty. So I'm going to make another one of these folded pockets, I think. And put this aside. Put that aside. Where, where am I going to put these? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's aside. All right. And then I'm going to use one of my pages that I printed front and back, but I have to find that. So I'm just over on the side, looking through the pages I printed. Oh. Paper clipped. All right. Stay. So I I kind of went rogue. <laughs> I didn't really um, measure because if you know me, I don't like math. I did figure out that if you do it three and a half, just a, a hair over three and a half inches. So one, two, three. Oh, well, that's not going to work, Martha. All right. So there's three and a half. That's too wide. Three. There you go. See, I told you math was not my strong suit. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at the numbers on the mat and I'm messing it up. So I just leave, I leave probably, um, maybe a quarter inch there. This is Martha's way because, you know, Martha likes to be different and go rogue and be a rebel and not really do things the way other people do them or the way she's told it should be done. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I hope this finds everybody well. I forgot to mention that and I'm sorry. 
I hope no one's dealing with anything awful. Um, it is Friday here, so the weekend is right around the corner. And um, okay, so this one I'm going to glue down onto a page. So I'm going to turn those in. And I'm not doing a tutorial. I'm going to link Gail's video and the other videos that I mentioned um, because my way is not necessarily the right way. <laughs> um, so one of the new YouTube channels I've been watching called Free Spirit Arts, I am um, going to link her her um, channel below in the description box as well. And if you want to go give her some love, I would appreciate it. She's fairly new, I think, to journaling, but she's also a spinner and I spin wool as well. So we have that in common and I've enjoyed watching her. And I, I have to double check myself here. Is that what I want? Want the pockets on the inside? Yes. Okay. Or do I want... No, I want the pockets on the inside. Alrighty. <laughs> now that we've established that. Um, so she has challenged me. <laughs> and I don't do well with these things. She has challenged me to um, do the envelope flippy thing that that um, Gail did in that uh, the book Vandal Shop. I think she started it. I think. I think she started it. Anyway, I'll have all those links when it happens too. <laughs> but um, so I started messing with that yesterday, and oh my gosh, I became quickly overwhelmed with. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it doesn't want to cut. Why are you not cutting little paper? Punch. Okay, we're going to fold you and we're going to see if we can make it work this way. Please work. This is the first time you have not worked. Sometimes if you have thicker paper or cardstock, and I know how to sharpen these. The foil never seems to work for me, but I will give it a try there. A lot of times, just more than one, one flimsy sheet of paper works better with these punches. All right. And then this is going to go this way. This is going to go this way. If somebody had a dark enough pen or a marker, they can certainly write there. And then we'll make um, pockets. Pockets. So, um, she's fun to watch, in my opinion, and I've enjoyed her. And she challenged me to the envelope flippy thing that Gail did, and that I thought I had, yes, I do, that Gail did and a couple other people have done. And so I am going to, I should, I'm sorry, thinking, thinking out loud, thinking I don't have hold that thought. <laughs> I don't want to use hold, hold that thought. I'm coming. <laughs> Those are pockets already. Ah! All right, I'm gonna have to use this. What I do with it? Not that. This. Okay. Um. Okay. Back to the conversation. <laughs> so sorry. I'm a little all over the place today, and I apologize. I'm a little all over the place every day. I can't use today as an excuse. All right. So, as I was saying, I started trying to do, like, a prototype yesterday. Totally became overwhelmed and lost my mind. And ended up giving up. Because <laughs> that's what I'll do. How long are you, little piece of paper? You're like five and a half, so two and a quarter. 
two and a quarter. That does not seem right. Five and a half, two and a half, and two and a half is five. <laughs> two and three quarters. It's a good thing when I eyeball things it looks right or doesn't look right to me because that's the only way I catch myself on a mistake. Yes. So, um, I am going to give it a shot, but I must do a prototype first because I am not brave enough to try and do it off the top of my head and I've watched the videos by everyone else who did one at least four times each. Mm -hmm. Yep, four times each yesterday. So after my five videos that I tried to do here for my papers and doing this uh, failed and I realized how bad they were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was bad. Um, after I realized that, I decided that I would just watch the videos and then stew on it overnight. And I knew I wanted to get these videos done today, but my husband went to Walmart and picked some things up because we're gonna I'm going to attempt to make fried rice tonight and egg rolls. Um, fried chicken fried rice, chicken and shrimp fried rice and egg rolls. So I've made egg rolls before. Um, I've had varying success with them. And I have never had success with fried rice. So I got up this morning and I made the white rice. And Tony said he was going to um, go to Walmart and look for a few things. So um, I gave him a list of a few extra things that I wanted, and he was able to find those, bless his heart. And so, because he was gone, I don't like to be on my phone. I put my phone on airplane mode when I record, and I don't like to have it on airplane mode in case something happens and he has to call me. When you're our age, you, you don't mess around. I, I don't like to not be able to be contacted if something, God forbid, were to happen while he is gone. So not only did he go to Walmart to do those things, but he took the, the RV, the van, the Class B van we have, and um, he went to the, the local campground and he dumped the tanks because we haven't done that in a while and it's getting hot out and you don't want, like, stuff. <laughs> I won't go into detail. You, you don't want that sitting in your tanks, though. So, um, and because we use the van when we go out so that we have a bathroom and we don't have to use public bathrooms, thank God. Um, so, even though we can't travel right now in the van, we do take the van with us when we go shopping or whatever because we live... It takes between 30 and 45 minutes to get where we're going when we want to go to town, to the city, to the town or the city. And, um, you know, I get up in the morning, I drink tea, and then I have to potty, and you know how that goes. So, anywho, um, again, age doesn't help that matter any. And so, um, when we have gone out, I like having the van with us and the convenience and so I'm thankful to have it but the tanks need to be emptied. So he went to the local campground and dumped the tanks first so that took time. Then he went to Walmart and got the stuff that we needed and that took time. And then <laughs> so as you can see now I'm running out of time. So he came home and he wanted to eat lunch and then there was a video we wanted to watch because there's this young couple who were living in their van, but they had to give it up because they were actually in South America. And so when they come out with a new video, we like to watch it and support them by, you know, because a lot of people, they get nasty. They're like, oh, you should have never left South America and you're not living in a van. So why should I watch you and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that's just rude, you know? Just like if you don't like seeing somebody ink, don't watch. 
Turn it off. You don't want to see somebody ink, right? Don't be rude. So anyway, um, so we like to support them because we really like them. They have funny senses of humor. And they're in Utah at his mom's house right now. And they are renovating a travel trailer. And we like to watch them. They're funny. And they're sweet. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, we watched that. And then I watched another video after that. So as you can see, procrastination <laughs> was high on my list today. Because <laughs> why not, right? Why not procrastinate? Because yesterday didn't go so well. Got to stick my tongue out and concentrate when I'm gluing such fine lines. So, um, there was that. So I did that this morning. And so it's now, I have no idea what time it is. What time is it? It is 2.02. Oh, so, um... Yeah, um, I started this. I've been filming 46 minutes. Oh, sorry for the boob shot. Um, <laughs> hope you haven't gotten a lot of those during this. So I just decided to start this 45 minutes ago, and I sure hope it goes well because I don't want to have to do this video again. But I wanted to share with you my, my new digital papers. So I hope... You know, I, I do hope this turned out well. So we're going to have chicken and shrimp fried rice and homemade egg rolls. So we'll see how that goes. Um, my husband's been doing a lot of cooking. He mostly bakes, though. Oh, my God, I've gained so much weight. You know, the freshman 15 or whatever they call it. I never had that because I didn't go to college. Well, I've got the COVID-25, I think. Holy moly. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you too tall? Oh, crud. All right. Sorry, I had to rub my eye. Allergies. All righty. We're going to whack some of this off because that pocket is way too tall. I hope the other one wasn't too tall because it's already dry now. I'll have to figure something else out. All right. Re-glue. Good thing I pulled it off because this glue dries so fast. Uh-oh. Somebody's dog is barking. Hopefully I won't get mine started. My poor my poor little Papillon. He's getting, getting old. He doesn't hear so well anymore. Which is kind of nice because he would have barked at that normally. Now he's just sleeping through everything. Oh, I wish I could show you a picture of him. He is all balled up in a in the bed that's way too small for him. Oh, that's funny. I'm turning around looking at him. Bless his little heart. I love my puppies. All right, that's better. It's still a little. Still a little tall. How did that happen? <laughs> that one fits. I guess I didn't make them the same size. Diggity dang dang. Okay. I'll figure it out. I'll make it work. But anyway, there's my there's my six pocket, no, five pocket little They go so fast. It's so easy to do. I love them. This is my new go-to for journal decorations, because why not? It's fast, it's easy, it's simple, and it's fun. Get yourself a double-sided piece of paper and just fold it a couple of times, and look what you got. Instant, I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five, and then if you glue it down on your page, here, right, if you glue it on these three sides, you can put, look, look, you can put one, Martha. Just need one. Don't be greedy. 
can put a journal card in it, right? You'd have to chop it off a little at the top. You can put a journal card in it that way. Or you can hold that thought. I'm coming. My fingers don't want to work. You could put a journal card that way, put a tab on it, or put some fabric on it, or put a little um, eyelid in it and a dangle and have it hang off that way. I love doing that because that's an easy way to get things to hang off your page. And I love doing side pockets like that. All right? You can go that way. And look, everything matches because you used a collage sheet. And you can print them off as many times as you want. And you didn't have to spend all that time collaging. So if you don't like collaging, I got the answer for you. Get my collage sheets. <laughs> okay, I'm not very good at promoting and selling for myself. So there you go. Um, you will see these from Gail because she, I sent them to her and she is going to do a video for me. Because, you know, people like Gail. <laughs> so, and she's a sweetheart. And I owe a lot to her. So you guys take care. I hope this finds you well. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're happy. I hope you're not going insane from being locked down. Um, they are letting things up, especially here in Virginia. But that doesn't mean COVID is gone. Sadly, I don't think this is ever going to go away. So we are laying low for this year. We're going to see what the year brings the rest of the year see if it comes back with a vengeance this fall and winter and we're gonna hang tight be safe stay home as much as we can and i hope you do the same so hugs and love to everybody please be well be safe and take care of yourselves because i like it when you come and visit and craft with me and leave me lots and lots of um comments. <laughs> That's the word, comments. So take care, everybody. Hugs and love. Thank you. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Bye. Happy crafting.